Hello, my name is Fabrice Vodis and I'm gonna take you through the process of modeling a nice soccer ball and animate it with the dynamic in Cinema 4D. Okay, so let's start with the modeling and uh, let's add the platonic objects, put it a little bit up, okay, because we're gonna make this ball bouncing. So the the platonic object to select the bucky, okay. The back is the one that is that get me a shape close to the 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 the, 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 the soccer ball one. The other one I like far. is different. So I really like the backy one. This is the easiest way. Okay. So I make this guy detail boys. I will make sure I select all face. Okay. Let me check here. Okay. I'll do. So I set all faces on the on my ball and. Uh, Let's go to the extremes. Okay, I would like an angle of 10 degree and the offset of 5 is okay. Okay, is okay. And uh, yeah, let me apply this guy. Okay, okay, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. And uh, when you smooth this guy, yeah, we have a shape close to a soccer ball, right? And let me quickly add a smooth tag to this and uh, yeah this is a, this is small smooth and you can quickly go into texturing by selecting all the four side square I mean or four side pole polygon on the I mean all the five sided polygon on the soccer ball like this guy that yeah, just be one, two, three, four, five side, and uh, I think this guy too will be five. You press shift and you select all the five side on your soccer ball. All the five. Okay. Here I am. Make sure to select all of them. All of them, you make sure you don't miss. Anyone, that's pretty hard, right? I think they should come up with a, a way to select, you know, an easy way to select those things. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm almost done here. Okay. Yeah, I think they are like this should be. They are all selected. Make sure they are all selected, right? No fives. Okay. Now let me quickly create a material. And give him some uh, okay. The usual one is the black, okay. But okay, this is just an introduction, so let me use the black and uh, yeah, I have this and I will drop this into one of them. Let's go to this view and we have a soccer ball, okay. This is pretty nice, this is pretty nice. And uh, now let's go to the animating process, okay. We want this soccer ball to bounce on the floor, so we add our floor first. Can I use a polygon or a plane? Okay, I don't know, let me use the plane then. And make this guy very, very big. Okay, make this guy very big and uh, make it editable. Now come the fun part. We should add a, a solver object, a gravity object. Okay. So what this will do is the the solver object is the one that we like calculate all dynamic calculation you have to do okay so you drag our gravity in the solver object so you know that all the objects should be affected by the gravity and we drag our floor let me name it floor okay we drag our floor in here into the solver object and let's grab the platonic object actually it's our soccer ball let me name it ball 
okay and uh okay what you notice is if i animate this no nothing is happening right it's because i don't have anything telling the solver update that okay those two the soccer ball and the floor are object that he should affect he should work on okay so in order for me to do that i will quickly add a dynamic tag here and uh, a rigid dynamic tag and the same will go for the floor dynamic yeah okay now if i limit it you will see that the two of them are dropping okay so that's not what you want right why is this happening because the floor has a mass okay so we go here and we put the mass to zero okay so the floor now don't have any mass more for well, but the ball do have one okay so now when I hit play, you will see that only the ball is falling, but it's passing through the floor. This is not what we want, so we will uh, use the dynamic tag on the ball and set. It's because actually, if it is passing through, it's because the collision. There is no collision detection. Okay, so we should put the collision detection either to ellipsoid or full. But anyway, this is just an introduction. So. Each one of them will work, it depends on the shape of your ball and uh, the floor. So, in some cases, it might not be a floor, it might be another object, right? So, the same you go for the floor, we have to tell our solver object that the floor too should, should calculate some detection for our floor. So, when I hit play now, we see our ball bouncing nicely, okay? This is very nice, but. Uh, what we want to is uh, in case we want more like bouncing effect on our ball we should add more elasticity okay this is 100 percent let me try the 200 percent and see what we have right okay let's go you see this is too high the bouncing is too high okay so i think we should make it like 150 and let's try this new guy no still Yeah, this is more like it. The bounce, we have more bouncing here. And if you want to reduce it, like some sticky ground or something like that, you should just reduce it here to 20. And uh, so it's, it's, it's very reduced. Okay. Okay, and uh, you have more like you can check your oversampling. I think it should be in the, in the solver object, the oversampling calculation. Depending on your machine, you, 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 you either put this to like 64 and 128. What this we actually do is when you we go into the side view, you might notice that where the ball is, the ball is bouncing from. You see, this is they still have some space here, okay. So, if you want this to be more closer to the ground, of course you have to put the what, sorry, work with the oversampling and the sampling, but that will ask more speed from your machine. Okay, so let's make this back to one and uh, let's just see one back to one ten and. Uh, this is what we have. Okay, I think this is pretty good. So this was just a quick introduction to dynamic in Cinema 4D. Thank you for watching, and I will see you more for more tutorial on cgtat.com. And uh, yeah, bye.